McAllister! Thank you guys, hooray for me. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, one time I stayed at a hotel in Flint, Michigan, and I had a hooker banging on my door and screaming, and I refused to let her out. <laughs> Have I established my character? Do you know what I'm gonna say now? You know what I'm gonna say. Okay, very good, fantastic everybody, this is awesome. Didn't always want to be a comedian. When I was a kid, I thought I could be like a lawyer or a doctor or president or something like that. And then I realized I was too stupid to be any of those things. <laughs> and I thought, all right, I'm gonna be a traffic reporter. That's what I'm gonna shoot for. Traffic, back in the days when they flew in the helicopter and they were on TV, right? That's an awesome job, right? You're in a helicopter, you're on TV, right? Greatest job ever. I know I'd be fired on day one though, everybody. I would've been fired on day one because they would have been in the newsroom, they'd be like, all right, let's go to Stu McAllister in the traffic helicopter, and it'd be me, I'd be like, oh my God, it's a hell of a mess out here, everybody. You aren't going anywhere, huge traffic jam on 69. I don't know who started it, probably an Asian guy, I don't know. Back to you in the studio, right? Fire day one, I'm not, I'm stupid, stupid human being, dumb. 45 years old, I still make dumb decisions. I make dumb decisions. You can't see in the back, people here in the front, you can see I'm wearing champion shoes, everybody. You see that? I'm wearing champion shoes. You know who wears champions? Not champions, everybody. No champions <laughs> have ever worn these shoes. You buy these at Payless shoe stores, everybody. <laughs> no champion has ever walked into that store. And if they did, they walked out a loser. I'm telling you, everybody. These shoes cost $20, every 20. Kids in China are going, yeah, those are poorly made shoes. Um, there's no art support. Nobody should ever wear those shoes. Nobody, sh I, so I wear champion shoes. Everybody wear champion shoes. Uh, I also donate plasma, everybody. How about that? Uh, that's a bad decision. <laughs> donate plasma, right? They put needles and tubes into me. I give them plasma. They give me $20 that I use to buy champion shoes. Everybody, that's like, this weird cycle of badness. Um, there's weird people who donate to at Plasma Center, strange people in there. I, last time I donated, I was sitting there, I'm on the desk or the chair thing, and there's a woman on the other side for me, she's donating, got the, noobs, the tubes and needles in her and everything, right? And uh, she's on her phone though, and uh, I don't know who she's talking to, but she's explaining to them the difference between a misdemeanor and a felony. <laughs> and it went a little something like this, it was like, Ah, uh, no, honey, a misdemeanor is when you sell weed. A felony is when you stab a son of a bitch for weed. <laughs> like, wow, that sounds like a jailhouse lawyer. That's what it sounds like. Uh, just so you know, she also was wearing champion shoes. I remember she was wearing champion <laughs> shoes. A lot of mistakes are made at the Plasma Donation Center, so. It's funny. 45 years old, I got glasses for the first time this year. I got glasses for the first time because I'm dying slowly, apparently, is what's going on. And uh, I, di I didn't know what to expect when you get glasses, right? Like, you just don't go in, grab them, put them on, leave, right? Someone's got to put them on your face, right, sir? They put them on your face, make sure they fit appropriately, right? So I'm sitting at the desk. Woman's on the other side of the desk putting the glasses on my face, right? Boobs right there in my face, everybody, right there in my face. Yeah. I tried on 86 pairs of glasses that day, everybody. I went to the kids section too. I didn't really care, but I didn't care. It was like, I like Hello Kitty. That's pretty sweet. They got sweet stickers. Sweet, pink, pink's my color. Pink is my color. Don't judge me, everybody. Don't judge me. It's pretty sweet, man. You just can't motorboat the optician. Don't try to motorboat her, everybody. Don't, they get a little upset. They bounce you. Just get tip her dollar. That's all you need to do. Just tip her dollar. Everything's cool. She's cool with that. So, it's strange. Weird things going on in the world, everybody. Uh, Black Lives Matter is a thing. I don't know if you guys are cool with it. You cool with it? Fantastic, me too, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with Black Lives Matter. White Lives Matter, you guys cool with that? Yeah, yeah me too, I'm cool with that. All Lives Matter? <laughs> Hell no, no, I'm not cool with that. I am not cool with that, right? Not at all, right? I'll tell you, today I was at Burger King going through the drive-through, that chick left a tomato on my Whopper. Screw that chick, her life does not matter, everybody. Her life does not matter, right? People who don't turn right on red, what the hell is their problem? They can die too. I got somewhere to be, let's go, right? 
People can't figure out the checkout, self-checkout line at Walmart. What the hell's their problem? They can die yesterday, everybody. They can die yesterday. So essentially, if you mildly inconvenience me in any kind of way, your life doesn't matter. That's all I gotta tell you. Doesn't matter. That's right, lady. You know what I'm talking about. That is right. <laughs> Gay marriage is a thing too, everybody. Gay marriage is a thing. I'm cool with gay marriage. I think it's great, right? I want straight people to get married. I want gay people to get married. Let's all party in Mardi Gras, everybody, right? Just make sure it's an open bar. That's all I want to know. Make sure it's an open bar. That's all I care about. Let's get drunk, right? Let's get drunk. Some people are mad about it because they're like, if you let gay people get married, what's to prevent people from marrying their dogs? Let them. I don't care, everybody. I don't care. Let them marry their dog, right? Someone marries their dog, they're finally marrying for love. That's all I know, right? That's all I know. You love your dog. You're marrying your dog for love, right? That is fantastic. But let's be real about it, everybody. I don't know why anyone would want to marry their dog, right? Let's think about it, right? One, your dog doesn't have a job, right? It's not paying for your Netflix, right? Not paying for that. No Netflix and chill from your dog, right? I don't know. Your dog doesn't have health insurance, right? Not getting any free prescriptions off your dog, right? Who cares? And lastly, I don't know if you guys know this or not, if you marry your dog, you're only having sex in one position for the rest of your life, everybody. Yeah. And that's 69. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, that's 69. So marry the right size dog or it gets weird. Nobody marries pugs, that's all I know. Nobody marries pugs. You get this, you can marry a gay dude, just don't marry a pug, that's too much. You cross the line, that's weird, it's weird. <sighs> I wandered into a gay bar last week. Uh, it was kind of weird, I'm not gay. I didn't know the bar was gay, and I learned some things, everybody, and I want to learn you what I learned, okay? You guys ready for this? Buckle up, buttercup, let's do this nonsense, right? I learned they got different kind of names for gay dudes, right? Did you guys know? Apparently, very popular one, big, tall, burly, hairy dude is called a what? Bear. Bear, you've been to the gay bar. Good for you guys. Good for you. Good for you. Hmm? Smaller version of the bear, everybody. Smaller version of the bear. Uh, not quite as tall, still kind of stocky and hairy. Those guys are called beavers. That, that's weird to me, because I would think gay guys would want nothing to do with beavers, but uh, what do I know? I'm not gay. I'm not gay, but I don't, know, I don't know those things. I found out that night, everybody, that I, I am a giraffe. Yeah. And a giraffe is a tall, gangly guy that no one wants to have sex with, so that's a giraffe. I just wanted a free drink. That's all I wanted, everybody. That's all I wanted. Hey, I'm Stu McAllister. You guys were a lot of fun. Thanks for coming out, Andy. You guys were great. Bye.